Catch a better fish if you had a team old school shirt on? Yeah. Well, you have to top there. That's acting like a bass. It's acting like a nice bass. Alright, just get ready. Watch the buck, keep bending that rod. Watch it, you gotta follow that fish. Follow that fish, don't cross. You got it. Yeah, it's like a small little bass. Hold on, let me do the old Mike's meddling technique. We're out here chunking. Got the perfect spot, perfect wind, perfect tide, perfect time, perfect overcast day. Everything was perfect. Started catching fish right out of the chute. Everything was good until coming through the fog was the c I can't curse. I'll but beep it. Yeah. Uh. The c <laughs> over here decided to run up our back lines. Then he had his handheld GPS and basically over our spot, like a vacuum, sucked the life completely out of this whole area. He doesn't, and we don't, on the water. But if you want to take a look, there he is. Yeah. Completely killed us. Sucked. I mean, it, it was like a vacuum. Sucked we call his life. boat the vacuum. Sucked the life out of us. It was amazing. He's the Dyson. That boat's name is the Dyson. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Thomas, any, uh... I never seen anything like it. This doesn't happen on the South Shore. <laughs> we play by different rules on the South Shore. Somebody's in a spot, you leave them alone. We may, the we, we may have to commit a homicide out here. Yeah, something's going down. If Looking you guys, for a torpedo as we speak. If you guys read the news day and find an uh, old man who uh, went adrift. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, talk about getting checked in the bean bag with a steel chip boat. Well, you just saw that on Pink Gorgie's outdoors. The crib keeper knocks us off the spot, really sucked the life out of us, making me, well, making Hunter pull the anchor again, 80 feet of water. And now I gotta move to another piece here just to get away from the negative, negative sheet of that toolbox. Alright, so you'll see the footage coming up now. We're gonna be hitting another piece, another wreck. See if we can pull some bass off there. I'm sure the, uh, the yellow white demon's gonna be there, so we'll see what happens. Alright, so stay tuned. Alright, we're already making a mess here on the chunk. Got two long lines. We got one long line, short line. Other side, you got a fish on this right one here. Hunt the right fish. Right there, right there, right there. Right, there. right side, right side. Right side. 
Open it up. When you give me your love, so how you love me. Look at that one, too. She's going? Yeah, she's going. All right, we'll do it together, too. Let's go a little bit. Let's do it. 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 Oh, he's way up there. Way up top. You got me thinking the sugar's tasting us so sweet. It's poison, baby, that brings me to my knees. Find that rod, don't get it. How are you? It's short. It's a small fish. guys we're on chunk right now got four rods going off the back of a bunker chunk on it but we're also off a wreck so we're gonna send an eel down into the abyss we're gonna be using the ready rig down rigger okay cool little setup here all you gotta do no different than the other ready rig you're gonna open the top guy put him in you're gonna lock him onto the line like that so it's gonna ride up and down the line and then we're gonna put this just like the regular rig. You're gonna put the plunger, you're gonna lock that in so the depth of your eel is gonna be whatever you want it to be. This is gonna go right near the bottom. And then we wanna keep that, we wanna keep that eel vertical in the quarter column. It's gonna go straight down because we have boat rods going off the back of the boat. We want this bad boy to go straight down. You'll be fishing the accurate 500 narrow on this one. Sick rod. Thanks to my boy Mike Smedley for giving that to Kid Coach East Outdoors. All right, so easily, really easy to do. Gonna to open the top piece. I'm gonna to put a sinker on it. Close it. Now this guy's ready to drop into the column. When that fish hits, it's gonna take off the plunger. The plunger's gonna go right down to the barrel. And run money, all right? Again, you're gonna hit the plunger. 
lock the plunger in. Now that thing is going to, obviously it's going to control the depth of where we're fishing. Hunter right now putting the needle right through the uh, cheek out the head. We're going to just drop this guy straight. We're going to drop this guy straight down to water column. Again, this is a ready rig, down rigging. All right, so that's how the system looks. Can't beat it. Great little idea from ready rig. You know I fish the floats and everything, but this is going to put us straight down off the boat, right at the bottom in the column. Live bait. All right. Pull that go all the way down the bottom. When you feel that sinker hit the bottom, I'm just going to reel it up off the bottom. And let that yield to its own presentation. All right. On the bottom, kind of come up. You can literally leave it in the rod hole here. Gonna get a little drag hook out. If that fish does take that eel, he's got drag. He'll set the hook on himself, but he's also gonna be able to run with the drag. And then Hunter will engage the full drag to fight the fish, all right? Again, ready rig, down rig. And we're on to a fresh fish. So it looks like the yellow eye devil. Yellow white devil. There you go. Simulate a fish bite. You take your thumb nice and tight on the spool. Get a little tension in the line and then snap. I really I really meant to dance, but oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do the dance. I start off with Mikey likes to dance. All the fans that kick Coach East out of likes to dance. You can't forget about the hips. <laughs> the hips. Then a little bit of them. That's it. Got to sway. Swing. <laughs> Swing like you mean it. This is all documented techniques. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. You throw a swing. And a swing. swing is a swing. And then it <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is all done. Oh, now we got a fish. We got a fish. We got a fish. Playing like a shark. It is with this. Oh, my God. 
Kashawn Blue Fish or what? That's a bass, 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 bass. Oh, Mike, uh, Hunter's on the right side. Alright, that looks like he's gonna play. Good fish, Michael. Let, let, let off that drag a little bit when he's close. Let off that drag a little bit. Give him Team Old School. Give him Team Old School a little prop there with the clothes we're wearing today. Don't pull him up. Make sure that drag is here. You need to get away from him. He's real, you got to him to the boat real quick. Oh, I know, I know. I'll have to get ready with that net. Tell him, get in sync. Get in sync. Go, 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 go. Net him. Oh. Get this in the net, boys. Get this in the net. Don't. Don't. 